Anyway, so what I did was I cut that edge off the envelope and then I used it as a template and I just sort of, you know, drug it over to exactly where I needed my envelope width to be and just cut it and made my own template. And um, I wanted to cut uh, a piece of decorative paper, um, which is was uh, 12 by 12, which was this one, but it wasn't quite, um, it didn't quite fit on the on the page. And so I just folded up the bottom just about um, a quarter of an inch, and it's still closed. And so I knew that worked just fine. So that's what I drew. I took this and and turned my decorative paper over and drew this on top of my decorative paper and so that I could come up with this piece right here and I just drew it, laid it down on my paper and penciled around it and then cut that out and it, and it worked very, very well. And so um, then I just went ahead and took my scrapbooking tape, and I like this um, scrapbooking tape by Scotch that comes on um, this roll because it cuts real cleanly, and then that way I can have a real sharp little edge there for my envelope closure, and that works great if you're giving them as gifts um, so that you can close your envelope. And then you just um, score. Um, from the edge to the edge with your score pal or whatever you like to score with and you fold those edges in and then you're going to glue this and what you do is you glue on this bottom edge right here um, and so I'm just going to take my scotch quick dry adhesive and um, which you can use, actually I'm going to use this other because you could use that but I'm going to use this two-way glue um, which is repositionable but then after it sticks uh, a while it actually becomes permanent. Um, and I'm going to take that, and you don't want to go all the way at the bottom. You don't want to start about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom and just go right along the edge, right, right there along the edge, just on, on, the, on the sides all the way up because you don't want it glued at the bottom and you don't want it glued at the top. So just on those side edges. And then you've already got it um, scored and so you just want to go ahead and just um, adhere that down like so. And then you've got your envelope. And right now it's fine, it's pretty, but I like to have my envelopes uh, uh, lined inside. And so what you do is you cut your, your piece of paper, you cut your decorative paper, um, that you want to use. Uh, and six, this is a six inch wide envelope, so you cut your paper just a tad skinnier than six inches, and that just makes it easier when it goes down into um, the envelope. And you just push that in there. And you don't have to push, I mean, you could go ahead and push it all the way down, but you really don't have to because it's not going to show. So you only want to push it down, and I'm holding it up to the light. I can see that I've got it down in there about an inch, maybe inch and a half. So you just really want to push it down in there uh, just a little bit. And then once that's pushed down in there, you turn it over on the other side, like so. And then you just mark with your pencil. You just take your pencil, I can't find my pencil, and you just want to uh, draw a line following that edge right there all the way around. And that'll make your pencil mark so that when you take it out, you can cut. And so this is one I've already got cut, and you can tell when I lay it on top of here that I, had, I just cut that out, like so. And that actual one piece of paper will make two for two envelopes. So once you've got that, um, that piece cut out, and I, I changed it, I wanted this to be green like the other one. And you just tuck that back down inside your envelope. And you just push it down far enough to where it's just right under your adhesive. And that's why you went ahead and put your adhesive strip on there first so you can see where it is. And because the way you've cut it, using the, the envelope as a template, um, it's not going to be right up, up to the uh, edges on the, on the sides of the envelope. So really you're just paying attention to right there at the top 
you want it close to the adhesive but not all the way. And then you just sort of lay it down and I just sort of hold the fold with my fingers and I go ahead and fold that down and you want to, uh, you know, score that so that's really uh, smooth. And then at this point you open up the envelope flap and then you want to glue on this part. And then when you, where you want to glue is just um, right on the edge at the sides and then right across the top and then I usually for good measure I just sort of do one a little bit down from that. I don't get too close to the fold um, and then just while that's there you just push from the other side of your envelope and push that down really good and then now you have your 